gays on a boat, yeah. two gays on a horse, yeah. two gays on a bike, yeah. two gays on a couch. Yay! Hey everyone, Hat here. Oh, hey, who's that beside you? That's not Joe Worker. You're right. I am joined today by my good friend and resident two gays cameraman and director, Alden Peters. Say uh, something. <laughs> something. There we go. Yeah, so today I'm the guest gay of the couch. I have a lot of nicknames for you, don't I? You have too many nicknames for me, you need to pick one. What do I call you the most? Doc. Why do I call you that? Because I make documentaries. And it's really just an excuse for me to get to say, eh, what's up, Doc? Yeah. The topic for today's episode is... Coming out with art! Today's topic, coming out with artwork. It's something Alden and myself both have experience with. We both chose to chronicle our coming out stories and our coming out processes with artwork. I did so using writing and drawing, which is something I'm very passionate about, and I created a webcomic. And Alden, why don't you tell everybody what you did? I filmed my whole coming out process and created this documentary project. So I set up cameras and came up with the siblings and that kind of grew into this feature film called Coming Out. And none of it was staged. Exactly. And, and I'm always filming everything. I, since I was a little kid, I was always the one with the camera making home videos. So it was totally normal. <laughs> it was just Alden doing his filming thing, except I had a little surprise to tell them. <laughs> Do you think making the documentary helped give you a final push to come out to people? Yeah. Because when the camera was there and the audio was rolling, I had no choice but to tell somebody. Because otherwise I'd be sitting there and uh, change the subject and do, do it tomorrow or next week and then never do yeah. it. I think what's really great about being able to capture an experience in a process like this in an art form and in a story is that when we talk about progress, I think too often we think about it in terms of force and, and forcing the agenda, and forcing people to change their mind. True progress is made through education and through informing. And I think the best way to do that is through storytelling. So then I started posting my comic online. Alden, at the same time, was promoting his video. He had a trailer out and he was using similar tags, so I just happened to stumble across them. And then, so, Hat got in touch with me, I think on Tumblr. Yep. I got this long message about having seen the trailer and you thought that it was something that you definitely identified with and yep. it was like a representation of coming out and being gay in a way that was true to yourself more than you had seen before. Yes. That was kind of the first time that anybody like really responded to the film and I was like, wow, okay. This is something that people might actually like. This is great. Yeah, and then I heard back from Alden and we started talking and I sent him a whole batch of the comics yeah. because at the time there was only, I think three or four up on my Tumblr page. Yeah. And you read them and do you remember how you felt? Yeah, I was like, oh shit. Because it was literally my movie. <laughs> this whole documentary that I was making, I was reading each strip and I was like, oh, Wow, I have a scene of that, I have a scene of this, I have a scene of that. And then, despite me stealing half of your life and story... <laughs> and me stealing half of your idea. Yes. <laughs> uh, we became friends. Tight match! Hey Hat, can I show him a clip? Yeah, here's a clip from Alden's documentary, coming up. What are you doing, Dad? I'm uh, removing the spark plugs from the engine, replacing them with new ones. Sounds complicated. Not really. I w was able to do this when I was about, about six or seven years old. Do you think I could fix a car? I don't think so. Um, I just thought while we have the cameras rolling, I would tell you something. Okay. Real quickly. Um, just why I've been filming everything. Everyone. And I know that we're not like, we never really talk about this as father and son, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Okay. Uh, at all, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm gay. Mm. Oh, did you like that clip? <laughs> I didn't realize we were back. Yeah, so that was... That was a scene from the film, hopefully you liked it. Yep, and you guys are in post-production right now. Exactly, it's not ready to be watched, we're still editing and finishing it up. But you guys are actually doing something really cool. Yeah. You're actually going to be asking people to submit their own coming out yep. videos that could be incorporated into your film. Yeah, and we did that. We had done a Kickstarter campaign a little bit over a year ago and got folks to submit their coming out stories. And we um, used a lot of them in the film, but we need a few more talking about how specifically like the internet or your digital life affected coming out, being in the closet and talking to people before coming out. Um, you know, sharing it publicly on social media. There's gonna be a link below. There'll be links below and information on how they can contribute and submit to exactly. your Exactly. 
And so you can record or send something that you've already recorded. You can record something specifically for us. But if you send it in, um, we'll take a look and it might end up in the movie. There you go. It's very exciting. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, you can follow me on Twitter at Alden Peters or the documentary at Coming Out Doc. Um, and you can also like us on Facebook. So that's going to wrap up this segment of Two Gays on a Couch. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed our guest gay. Uh, I wasn't... <laughs> Alden Peters, documentary filmmaker and surprise cheerser. <laughs> well, don't point your cup at me because I will cheers it. <laughs> this man is a fellow traveler in the homosexual railroad. Toot toot. Toot toot. Let's, okay, let's do it one more time. Okay. More energy? How much energy? Like, Just try uh, to match me. Or you don't have to match, match me. Match you, but you're out of control. <laughs>